Hello everyone. Today I will show you that you actually still can run Steam VR on Oculus Rift DK1 and DIY clones. I've managed to even play some games on it but without motion controls. This is what my Oculus rig looks like. I've modified a little bit the power adapter and zip tied cables together for more comfort. As you can see it's basically as good as Valve's 3-in-1 cable. I'm using HDMI to DVI cable because I've got only one HDMI port in my graphics card. There is also bent power adapter which supplies me with bent power. This is Dagon my lab assistant. He's not here very often though. As you can see, Oculus still works even after my modifications. Don't mind my ghetto PC setup. You can see right here that Oculus receives the video feed. It also sends the tracker data but you cannot see it as it's basically black magic. Ever wondered how a piece of silicon is able to track your position? Black magic. Quick editor's note I'm also editor would be different low effort Microsoft voice acting. It might sound Russian but most of you probably didn't get here this far so who cares. Basically I have interrupted this broadcast to tell you that you need to download the zip file for this to work. It includes Oculus runtime and pre-compiled OSR with all the plugins that you need. You strun Oculus runtime once, do the setup and you are ready to go. Then you need to only launch OSR Central and click Start OSR Server. That's it. You can find zip file in link down below. There is also on a thing to do with Steam and plugin but I cannot remember what. I will write it in description when you will remember. So basically now you see the whole OSVR central menu which is being used to launch various things such as test programs and whatnot. You need it only to run OSVR server. You can see now that my Oculus has actually been recognized by Steam. You can see now that tracking and video works perfectly. I can see the Steam VR room and launch various applications.